the JAMA Network. My name is Annie Xiang, and I am a senior research scientist at Department of Research and Evaluation at Kaiser Permanente Southern California. Most of our previous studies have been focusing on the health outcomes of the women with gestational diabetes. Uh, in recent years, we began to investigate the impact of gestational diabetes on the health outcomes of their children. Every one child out of 68 children in the United States is having autism spectrum disorders. Both genetic and environmental factors may play a role, and uh, there is a suggestion that the etiology may begin in utero. So the purpose of this study was to investigate whether exposure to maternal diabetes during pregnancy is associated with increased risk of autism spectrum disorders in children. We included um, approximately 322,000 children. All of them were born at Kaiser Permanente Medical Centers between 1995 and 2009. We used electronic medical records to identify the children who have a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorders anytime between birth and December 2012, while they were still Kaiser Permanente Health Plan members. We also use electronic medical records to identify their mother's uh, diabetes status during pregnancy. Uh, this includes whether the mother had pre-existing diabetes or gestational diabetes during that pregnancy. For gestational diabetes, we look at uh, whether the gestation weeks at which gestational diabetes was diagnosed has anything to do with their child autism risk. Um, children of mothers with pre-existing diabetes had 60% uh, greater risk of having autism spectrum disorders compared to children of mothers without diabetes during pregnancy. After we uh, control for potential risk factors, we uh, found that the risk was greatly reduced from 60% to 20% and was not statistically significant. For children of mothers uh, who had Gestational diabetes diagnosed before 26 weeks gestation also had a 60% greater risk of having autism spectrum disorders compared to children of mothers without diabetes during pregnancy. After we control for um, potential confounders, the risk was reduced from the 60% to 40%, and it remained statistically significant. The children of mothers with uh, um, gestational diabetes diagnosed after 26 weeks gestation had no increased risk of having autism spectrum disorders compared to children of mothers without diabetes during pregnancy. We did not find that use of anti-diabetic medication to treat diabetes during pregnancy and has independent association with uh, uh, autism spectrum disorders in children. We conclude from this study is that uh, the exposure to gestational diabetes diagnosed before 26 weeks of gestation was associated with increased risk of autism spectrum disorders in children. However, this is an observational study. Causal conclusion cannot be drawn. Further studies are needed to confirm these findings, and further studies are needed to understand the nature of the association.